Hey guys, Fifi Five Nine. As you can see by the title video, guys, we do have the next episode of Squad Builders today, and today we do have a Squad Builder featuring Man of the Match Ron Van Persie. This team is fairly good, and if you guys actually can't afford the Man of the Match card, then just go out and buy the normal card of you know Ron Van Persie, so you can make this team. Still, it is a fairly good team. I really like the shooting on this team, and also the defense is very solid. So. Um, another thing also guys is that I'm a bit under the weather at the moment because it rained the other day and I was in the rain because I didn't have an umbrella and I had to get home so I sort of got sick and now my nose is blocked so apologies if I you know sound a little bit nasally in the video so um, thank you for understanding that but anyway let's get into the squad builder of this team it is going to be to Petacek in goal 5.8k fairly good goalkeeper you might be thinking a lot of the prices are higher than what they are now. Well, I bought this team before the mark crash actually happened. Like, you know how they released all the 100k packs and all that onto the market because um, I bought this team about, I think, one or two weeks ago. Or like the day actually, you know, they released Roman Man Percy into the packs. I actually bought this team on that day. So it is, you know, a little bit of a while ago. So moving on to the right back of this team, we are going to be having Rafinha. And the left back of this team is going to be Another very good player, it's going to be Van and Holt. Let's talk about Van and Holt first. So, as you can see, 2.9k. Mainly got this guy to link up with another player you will see in this team, the Silver Beast, um, that you will shortly see in this team. This guy, Van and Holt, was quite a big surprise. I didn't, ex you know, like actually expect him to really do anything. Just thought he'd, you know, be fast and pretty shit at defending. But anyway, he was fairly good at defending. His 69 defending, in my opinion, is sort of a lie. Feels, you know, around the 75 mark. Dribbling was very nice, and also the passing is very good, and his pace does live up to about 91. Now moving on to Rafinha, this guy is featured in a lot of Brazilian squads, and also some, you know, cheap Bundesliga uh, teams, so this guy is a very good player, 650 coins. I could have actually gone for Lam in this team, but I decided to go for this guy, because he's always, you know, worked well for me when I've ever used him in teams. Somehow, you know, he just always feels good, because even though he doesn't have, like, you know, amazing stats on card, He's just sort of that player that, you know, does his job in the team and does it pretty well. Now, moving on to two center backs on this team, we are going to be having Dante on the right-hand side and David Luiz on the left-hand side. So, these two guys are both Brazilians, so they get the, you know, very nice link there. And Dante goes for 2.3k, fairly good center back, really enjoy his heading. Got him with a Centennial Chemistry Star, which does upgrade a couple of his stats, I do believe, um, on the defending side. Yeah, defending and heading. Now, moving on to David Luiz. I actually got this guy in a pack on a different account, managed to transfer him over to this account. As you can see, two goals in eight games is pretty good for a centre back, but both of them were from corners, which just shows, you know, he's absolutely deadly from corners. Um, I actually really enjoyed David Luiz. He is, you know, fairly overpowered. He's been overpowered, like, on every single ultimate team. And his long shot is actually, you know, fairly good. 67 shooting, sort of a lie. He has actually scored some, you know, very nice goals in real life, which is, you know, um, contrary to the fact that he has, like, 67 shooting on his car, but... It is, you know, still fairly good for a center back. Now, moving on to Depay. This guy was the sore beast of this team. He didn't actually, you know, score me a lot of goals, but he was sort of a player that I used to pass the ball around because he does have some nice stats there with the dribbling side. So I sort of, you know, run through a couple of players and pass it off to my strikers or the center mids because the center mids in this team are, you know, sort of bulky. Well, one of them is bulky and the other one's like more agile, but Depay was a very good player. But the thing is, for Depay, if you want to, you know, get the maximum out of him, I would recommend you use him at the left wing or the left forward because he doesn't really have any stats that will help him defensively. So, you know, in the 4-4-2, sometimes you need the left mid to come back. Um, unfortunately, you can't really do anything with Depay because he only has 42 defending and the 59 heading is also bad as well. But moving on to center mids of this team, we are going to be having Fur on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, we're going to be having Gundogan. And... Um, let's just talk about Fur first. So this guy was very good, 350 coins. A lot of people describe this guy as a cheap bullet. As you can see, two goals and two assists in eight games is not too bad for a center mid. And if you apply um, an all alter plus 10 to this guy, he actually does look like the real bullet. Um, even better, actually. And this guy is just absolutely ridiculous. I really like using this guy for, you know, passing it to him. And you can just barge through a couple of players and then lay it off to one of your strikers. They can just, you know, just pull off a thunderbolt shot because the strikers in this team obviously you know with Roman Man Percy I won't mention the other player but Roman Man Percy obviously has a deadly shot which is very good so moving on to Gundogan now um, Gundogan was fairly good 
4 goals in 8 games and also 3 assists is very good for a centre mid. I actually really like this pairing of these two because one of them is just an absolute tank and the other one is very agile and sort of, you know, can also defend but he is better uh, at attacking more. And now moving on to right mid of this team, we are going to be having Blackkowski. This guy is just absolutely rapid in game, 93 pace, great for, you know, crossing it down the line, like running down the line and then putting a cross into your strikers. This guy is just absolutely ridiculous for, you know, that. His shooting is fairly good also. A little bit of a letdown on these skill moves, but other than that, he is a very good player if you're looking for, you know, sort of a strong right mid because he can also defend with these 6'6 defending. Now moving on to striker of this team, on the right hand side, we are going to be having Lewandowski. He's currently injured at the moment, but he is, you know, a fairly good striker. I didn't actually get too many goals with him, but that was basically because four of the games, like, like my internet screwed up and I pretty much, you know, just lagged out in the first couple of minutes in the game. So that basically describes that. So he basically got, you know, four goals in two games. Um, two, two goals, actually, in four games, which is fairly decent. Now, moving on to the main man of this team, we are going to be having RVP, man, the match. This guy was fairly good. I wouldn't say that he's, you know, worth the coins, but his shot is just absolutely ridiculous. One of the shots I took, um, I think, about 10 meters from halfway, like in front of it, and it hit the top bar. I was actually, you know, playing at that game with the Lollipopper, so he is a very good, you know, long shot taker. So, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope you guys enjoy the goals, and sorry for, you know, sounding a bit sick in this video. But anyway, bye.